Welcome back. Uh, another episode of Path Seven. Um, I just want to speak on just a lot of different topics. One right now, my main topic would be uh, hmm, how can I say it? Um, the more and more I, I ascend, I see myself like separating from from the. I would say the popular opinions of most or the collective um, <clears throat> and it's bringing me to a certain level of enlightenment to the point where it's just like <sighs> right now the sun is in Sagittarius the moon is in Scorpio meaning that uh how do I want to say? Meaning, um, with the sun being in a masculine sign of intuition, anytime you deal with fire, it's like more inner insight. But on the same topic of that insight, it comes down to how well you can take action upon it and not just like dwell in the emotion of it because it deals with more spirit rather than the emotion of it so like if you see something it's like cool yeah whatever it's like a glimpse of not just subconscious but a realm that we barely get to see into but at the same time you have to be able to like not take it personal you know what i mean like see it for face value act on it then leave it alone but since scorpio is also there it's like it's going to give you an emotional tie into your subconscious or to your like lower animalistic, uh, like more sensual side. But if you haven't <clears throat> dealt with your masculine and feminine, then you're going to find yourself like in a lot of your like subconscious, deep, like primitive emotion and a lot of like sensual energy that that has to be. Uh, what's the word I want to use? I would say dealt with in a more. way of insight or a more of a it will cost you more to be disassociative with that inner feminine because the more you tap into it you would think you're going to intuition but you're actually going to emotions and emotions that are, are not emotions that are not hmm, emotions that are not not balanced and grounded but not able to fixate on a better situation or or fill into something that is better than what you're like used to or appealing to then you'll be in a space of like an unknown charted way of trying to establish how to feel and then and then create a, a stable line of how to feel so that's why it's more important to be able to Observe, act, and leave it alone. Especially because Mercury and Venus is in Capricorn right now. It's like we're trying to establish a new telepathy for Capricorn. But the occult, or not the occult, but the cabal and, and the collective are still like wanting us to like delve into like really emotional based senses instead of like actually dealing with these things and just either either not internalizing it or just taking it as for what it is and then just saying like hey this is enough for me and I can kind of let it go so it's just like really how much do you want on your not how much you want on your plate but like how well can you hold your bankai without like people throwing you off your bankai off of like projections and like certain things that people are like charging up and give you like stronger intentions upon because these stronger intentions all they're doing is literally uh all they're doing is literally like <clears throat> pretty much just creating like a flash into like what we will think will be spirituality which is really like a 
it's not it's not that it's not spirituality but it's more of like an emotional base like realm of like terror that's all it is it's like a emotional realm of terror which which is like dealing with the 12th house when you shouldn't be dealing with the 12th house you should be dealing with like your first house right now or if not your first house you should be dealing with your venus your venus right now because like it's a time, a great time of like manifesting, manifesting money. If you can like literally, if you can literally like stabilize that thought on money or create a new way of, of creating an identity for how to feel about power. Like my thing is more of like, Like, with well, my basis of reality is more of, like, 12th house is really subconscious. And it does more with, like, meta the metahumans and, like, a lot of metaverse and, like, a lot of, like, of the unseen. Like, uh, like Constantine has been something I've been big on right now. Constantine. Um, Constantine. Who else? Uh, Doctor Strange, of course. Not really Doctor Fate. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Um, Bane, of course. Uh, um, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, shit. Um, just anything along the lines of that. All trying. I feel like I'm going against like some kind of supercomputer that has my mind map. Which is like an actual documented thing. It's not the CERN machine. It's something else. Um, but yeah man. Just. Not really trying to attach. To the. Uh, to the past like that. That is like. Really trying to trigger me more and more. So like I'm at a space where it's just like. I'm not really. Attach it to my emotions as much as like most people, because I know my emotions are just projections that don't really mean anything. So at that point, I'm like pretty much allowing other people to dictate my future just because I can't or my inability to to grasp the, the situation and just being able to really just like understand that I create my reality and not the people who want to see me in a certain perspective. So it's like literally like trying to get the collective to believe in themselves and just know that there's their own, like they're their own like light source. They don't need a light source outside themselves. And like the one thing about the Orishas and a lot of these like Orishas, uh, Christ, Jesus, and um a lot of the the main what is it <clears throat> not main line a lot of the pop is it pop the main culture it's just a certain term i'm looking for a lot of the um a lot of the mainstream there you go a lot of the mainstream like sources of spirituality and that's why I've been riding with the Bodhisattvas for so long because it's not that they're an unpopular situation, but I literally feel like I can reach Nirvana. But the only reason I don't reach Nirvana is just for the simple fact that uh, people really like need somebody to 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 see like really step over all these like pretty much these situations that a lot of people aren't privy to to doing the work for. And, like, for me, I'm doing all this work, like, literally just because I don't want to suffer. I don't want humanity suffering. It's just, like, at what point does humanity actually own up to its its lack of, not awareness of itself, but it's a lack of work that it's willing to do, you know? Like, I feel like humanity is, like, really slacking just because it's just, like, it's just lazy, bro. It's just it's like. It's like. 
because we become such consume, consuming based creatures and creatures of habit, but building upon a lot of bad habit because of like the monster in the room, which is television, we become people who literally, who literally like pretty much just wait to be fed. Like you got to think about it. Like we're consuming it at such a great rate. That is just like we have animals, like dead animals, just sitting in like stores or or like places where half of those animals like are inbred, and there it's a lot of things happening to like create creatures or, or create a a diet and feed so many people that it's not it. I think there's a food supply that like Chick Fil A, like there's no way there's enough chickens on the world for like so many Chick Fil A's to feed so many people. Like, there's no way. And then at the same time, you have supermarkets all over the, the world that literally have the ability to, to, uh, to, to, like, sustain that as well. So, it's like, there's just a lot of situations that I don't think we even take a step back and just really just realize there's no way. Like, there's no way that Chick-fil-A should be able to, like, sustain that level of, like, they should be able to stay, sustain that level of, like, product. There's no way. There's no way. Um, And just like things along those lines. But back to my main thing that I wanted to talk about is just like how I'm just evolving. On top of me evolving, it's just like. It's just sad because like I'm just feeling my avatar just. Like literally slip out of my body more and more like I'm going into like other realms and like it's just like my body is here but i can see feel my soul like slipping out of my body like anybody who saw like noragami it's a, it's an anime and like the girl like the main character his name is yato and he's a god but he's like a, a god that's like more forgotten or like people don't really talk about him that much so he's not really as revered as like tenzin and a lot of the other other gods you like it's an asian kind of thing so like or asian or eastern hemisphere based kind of thing but, um, it's just one of those things, like, he saved this girl, I forget her name, but ever since he saved her, she died, but she came back, so, like, she astral travels, like, she's, like, in between our realm, the astral realm, and, like, our realm, the astral realm, and actually death, so, like, she can pretty much slip out of her body, like, willingly, not, uh, well, still unwillingly at this point, and, like, her astral body would be gone, where our physical body's just sleep, and it's just, like, that's why I tell people, we have to, we have to realize that, like, this entire reality is a dream. It's a simulation, but it's a dream. And, like, unless you're able to truly, unless you're able to truly, um, Unless you're able to truly just, like, tap into your, your Delta state at this point, I mean, it's going to be hard for you. I mean, not, like, a deep, deep, like, Delta state, but more of, like, a Theta state in which you're just, like, controlling the seat of the mind. Which is... <sighs> controlling the seat of the mind, which is... Controlling your pineal gland, actually like stimulating it and just keeping it like afloat, then you're gonna like almost just like be in a state of unrest. And while you're in unrest, you're not gonna be able to truly manifest the dream you want to like live in. So it's gonna be hard for you if you're not able to like truly tap into who and what you want to be. So it's like, how well can you truly, how well do you truly know yourself, and how well can you truly tap into your essence of? Your own greatness. Like I said, how long can you sustain your bond card? <sighs> A bleach reference. And it's just, that's literally what it is. Like, how long can you sustain your bond card? Which means, how long can you, like, go into your altered state of greatness and, like, really, like, sustain it for so long? Because it's it's only up, it's up to you to literally like cement the greatness that you're trying to 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 bring into this reality with with it coming with the sun coming in the Capricorn I want to say the twenty first or so it's like you're going to be able to consciously like 
see like the gaslighting and, and all the fear based things and like literally just like see all the power struggles and dynamics that are going on in front of you and it's going to be up to you to make a like our original response to say like i'm going to let this trigger me and take me backwards or i'm just going to keep striving forward and keep like trailblazing my own path and i think a lot of people should just go into the whole aspect of just allowing their soul to really like just develop rather than constantly creating these loops where we like we're like here and then we start running again and i mean you can see it all the time there's some days where everybody's on the same page it's just monday then everybody goes into this end of the world and start panicking again and the thing is when you people when, excuse me i don't want to ever say the, the term you people but like when people like when people go into that whole rant of like not just being able to sustain themselves and remember that it's just a regular day. It makes my life hard because I should. It's just hard for me to to get there to the point of it's just a regular day and just sustain my like my my job at this point is to sustain my vibration and keep it high. Meaning, as long as I can like sustain my my vibration to keep my vibration just like above the the collective and keep it positive man like nothing else really matters because a lot of people are just like they're on they're off they're on they're off and they're high and low and i'm just like just like a speedboat just 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 cutting the water uh, boom uh, boom just going over the waves man just keep moving forward and um i'm just at a unique point in my life where it's just like the only thing I can do is just kind of just, like, just really just, um, the only thing I can ever do is just, I would say just, like, not neglect humanity, but just, like, I, I just know, man, that it's just, like, all I can do is detach from humanity, because it's just, like, some people get it, and for the people that don't get it, if you don't get it, I can't force you to understand something that's so basic. It's just like common knowledge at this point. Like if you don't, if you don't understand the common, the common knowledge of like this, like this thing is not that that deep. Then you're gonna keep repeating cycles that you don't have to, and it's just like, bro, we already took enough ass opens to be in a space where it's just like, you know what I mean? Like it's. It's just Monday every day. Every day is Monday. Every day is leg day. Like, at what point do you understand that this shit is not even oppressive? This shit is not cool. It's just make it to payday at this point. Because each day is like becoming more and more intense and it makes it feel like it's your last. But there's no, there's no beginning. There's no beginning. There's no end. All there is is just now. And, like, the more and more people, like, because there's going to be, like, there's always going to be, like, a Mike Brown situation. There's always going to be a school shooting, and it's just, like, it's always going to be something. But where do you find, like, relief and focus and, and just, like, stability and knowing that that's always going to be there? You know what I mean? Like, at what point do you become that version of yourself where it's just, like, I know that there's always going to be something going on that I can't control. But then it's like, at what point do you learn to control what, what what you can control and do it at a higher clip? That's literally all it is. Like, how long can I do this shit? Excuse me, do this work and then, like, not take anything personal. Not attach to, like, the things, people, and places that, that want to keep me, like, contracted to them. And how can I, like truly willed myself and willed my mind is the greatest weapon that I have, you know? Like, how long can I do that? How how strong can I do that? How how can I do that so ferociously that it, it helps others, like, you know, just ascend from, from darkness? Because <clears throat> it's just like... <sighs> people have to... 
be comfortable being uncomfortable in the standpoint that like not everybody can go where you're going and nobody else is is destined for your journey but you you know what i mean like how long can you really like go against the grain and hold your frequency Like, you have to be able to hold your frequency no matter what. Like, because it's just like, it's getting to a point where it's just like. The collective is just, it's it's just slipping. And you got to be the one person in the room to just like, as one of the chosen ones, to really just be like, I'm not moving. I'm not budging. This is me. Like, if you don't like it, just you don't like it. It's not going to affect you. It's not going to affect me. But I'm just going to keep moving forward. Well, even if it does affect you, it's not like, you know what I mean? So just fuck it. I got I to gotta get it for me. I can't get it for you. If, you. if you're not willing to get it for yourself, I can't wait for you. And I can't wait for you to go get it. I just got to go get that shit. Like, it's not up to nobody. It's that, like, you know what I mean? Like, my job, my dreams ain't going to get accomplished depending on somebody else. Like, I got to make this thing happen. And if you in my way, it's not saying, like, nothing like that. But I just got to go, bro. Like, I can't I can't wait for nobody. I can't wait for situations that aren't real or just, like, see, they, you know what I mean? Like, the interference now is so high because we're dealing with outer planets. It's just, like, it's more alien. It's more. It's more of the unknown. It's more of the gaslighting. Everything's gonna seem more intense. But if you could just hold your fucking focus, <sighs> stay in your truth and not let anybody like really like take you from where you're trying to go. You can literally do anything. Literally, and that's why I try to get people to understand that, like, it's not about you. It's not, well, it's not about anybody else. It's not about your mom, sister, brother, Aunt Paul, the dog, Tutu, who the fuck ever. It's about you really being so defined in your goals that nothing can stop you. And you're not going to allow anything to stop you. You just going to keep plowing away and pushing forward so, like, ferociously that everything else just, like, ceases to exist. Like, I'm building up in my mind that nobody else exists but me at this point just because, like, I got to get this shit done. I can't let nobody else get this shit done but me. So that's just where I'm at. I'm just, like, pushing forward. and I just can't allow anything to stop me. But I'm going to keep this simple. Uh, Anu out. Um, stay focused. Keep going forward. And, you know, it's it's all about us just getting, to, getting this thing done. I say, or whatever, whatever gets you going. <laughs>